पतंजली चमन प्रॉस प्रो रेसलिंग लीग सीजन तीन में यह वक्त है आज के सबसे भारी भरकम मुकाबले का देविया सजनो ये बाउट है पुरुषों के 125 यानी 125 किलोग्राम वर्ग कुश्ती का एनसीआर पंजाब रॉयल्स की ओर से आ रहे हैं जॉर्जिया मूल के गेनो पतंजलि चमन प्राश प्रो रेसलिंग लीग सीजन तीन के इस 125 किलोग्राम वर्ग कुश्ती के पुरुषों के मैच में वीर मराठास की ओर से आ रहे हैं आर्मेनिया मूल के लेवान बेरी Well, these are the really big men. 125 kilograms. Geno Petriashvili, the uh, Georgian wrestler, wrestling for Punjab Royals. Tremendous strike record. World Championship gold, Rio Olympics gold. But uh, up against him, Levan Berianidze, and you heard it. But Ranjit Satsena, the owner. Of the Viemaratas, actually thinks he can do it. Jagbir Singh's your referee, but um, Levan Berianidze, with it all to do, because he only won the bronze medal at the World Championship. Yes. So on form, so far, and what we know, Geno Petriashvili probably has the edge. It's uh, no attacks. One of those contests. Look at the big, big men, Levan Berianidze. Looking an extremely powerful wrestler, uh, Geno Petrashvili looks as if he might just have a little more agility. Certainly, John, I think that's the difference because Levan Berianidze looks like a bear. If he really gets a hug, fight, fight. it's not going to be easy. Uh, it's the stadium is throbbing with excitement at the City Fort uh, Auditorium, the badminton hall at the City Fort Sports Complex in Delhi, and this is really. The rumble at City Fort, the two heavy men, and with the contact, team Julio. score delicately poised at one all, I think John this is very decisive. And Geno Petrashvili, the uh, more nimble, is the icon player. Julio. So Punjab Royals Five. will bank on him for a victory over here. And of course, the, interesting to see all the supporters very involved. But as expected, John, the heavier weights start slow. You're not going to get explosive Five. action. Yeah, Petrashvili beat uh, Jamaladin Magomedov 4-3 in the first round match against UP Dangal. Uh, Lavan Perenice was out on the blocking process, so this is his first bout in the tournament. John, we remember that in that round, in that bout with Jamaluddin also, uh, you know, uh, Geno Petrashvili went all out in the second round. I think maybe that's part of strategy. Slow start, he sees, sizes up his opponent and then goes into attack. Yeah, the referee not happy with the lack of action. I'm not sure who he actually singled out as being action, action. the one to blame. But again, it's very passive at the moment. But with these big, big men, as uh, Nobby was saying, one big fight, attack, fight. and that can be the the whole turning point for the whole bout. No, Geno showing a lot of respect. Oh, that's the point. Yes, for Geno Petrish Pili. I mean, the referee over here. Uh, Jagbir Singh has given that uh, passivity point. Red, yeah, it was. I thought it was going to go against uh, Levan Berianidze, and it has. Yeah, 
contact, contact. Beria Nidze uh, from Armenia. And uh, head up, Brad, head up. With running down last 10 seconds of this first round. Not really possible on the evidence of what we've seen so far to say who's got the real advantage. Both very wary of each other. That's the end of the first period. And uh, obviously everything's still to fight for. Just that one point in it. Let the second period begin. And uh, Lavan Berianice really needs to impose himself on this bout. Not been able to get to grips with uh, Geno Petriashvili, but you could say the same thing the other way around too. But certainly, uh, Lavan Berianice now needs to show a lot of aggression. Right, John. I mean, I was very surprised in those three minutes we only saw one attack on the leg by Geno. And I mean, both the coaches here, Parvesh Mahan and Chandra Vijay, belting out instructions. Oh, it's one all now. It's is that so? No, is that uh, not right on the graphics? So it's still one minute. It's a mistake by the graphics, so it still remains. There's no passivity point given to Levan Berianidze. It didn't look like it. And they're just holding on to each other. Ajit Mahan, the referee, constantly telling them, fight on, come to the center. Uh, Levan using his long reach and immense strength to hold off Petriashvili, preventing him from getting into an attacking mode. But as John, you rightly said, it's Berianitze who's to go into attack. He's trailing. Very disappointing bout so far, and we're almost midway through the second round. Now, at last, a bit of action, and this is uh, Levan Berianitze trying to impose himself. If he doesn't make it tell quickly, it's going to be back to the middle. Nothing gained on that one. That was his chance. Couldn't turn. You could see there uh, Petriashvili going for the knee lock, not making it, and a chance for Berianidze to counter, but he couldn't do it. And it's still just that one point for passivity in it at the moment. And we're into four minutes 50 gone. And now, that's interesting, warning there to Geno Petriashvili for passivity. It's, it's now or never for Levan Berianitze and the Veer Maratha supporters. Has he got Geno in a tight hole? Again, trying to use the strength. Geno going for the legs. He's turned him over. Geno has got the points. He's got him behind in a ground position. Very clever move by Geno Petriashvili. The Punjab Royal supporters happy. Two points. Look at it again. Excellent knee hold, turnover. I mean, a burly man being thrown over like this. Excellent technique. And I think those two points, he's hitting pretty now, John. With 30 seconds to go, so little action. I think Petyash really has sewn up this part. I wouldn't argue with that, Novi. Um, it's going to take a mammoth effort by Lavan Berianidze. I have to say, I thought he was always up against it. And... Uh, Certainly, Geno Petrashvili, remember he's the captain of the Punjab Royal side, coming through with the goods as he needs to, running the clock down now. And he reacted to that warning for passivity really well. And that's the end of the bout. No further score at all. Jagbir Singh shakes the hands of the two grapplers and raises the hand of Geno Petriashvili.